Not a lot of people have heard of this battery company. However, they are possibly on the precipice of changing the world in a way that people just do not understand right now. Here are 10 reasons why Goshan High Tech are about to change the industry, change the battery landscape, and make this battery race, this global race to bring out semi-solid state and ultra high energy density affordable batteries, so much more exciting and so much more competitive than we ever could have foreseen. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. Electric Viking, great to see you. Now, I'm going to get into this quickly. I have 10 different pieces of news about Goshan High Tech that they've released within the last few months. For those of you who are unaware, Volkswagen owns 25% of Goshan High Tech, yet they renounced their voting rights. They do, however, have a board member from Volkswagen sitting on Goshan High Tech's board. Now, Goshan High Tech are a Chinese battery company. Who, who are planning to become one of the world's top three battery companies within the next four years. They plan on building capacity of 300 gigawatt hours of batteries within the next three years. But that's not the most exciting stuff, my friends. Wow. Some of this news, just get ready because I'm going to lay it on you hard and fast. And boy, oh boy, this company is doing some incredible stuff. Now, how do we start? Let's start with this. Goshan achieved mass production of cells with ultra high energy density on the 10th of November last year. Their ternary cells with high nickel content have an energy density of 302 watts per kilo, meaning that battery pack could easily power a vehicle for a thousand kilometers of range. So Goshan said they achieved 302 watts per kilo of energy density in the cell and 200 watts per kilo of system energy density and they've successfully achieved mass production. Those batteries are being produced right now. Uh, they've been, this is old news. They've been produced now for a few months. Then on the 27th of May this year, Goshan announced they will be mass producing semi-solid state batteries this year. Not next year, now, this year. What's the energy density of these batteries? Well, they have an energy density of 360 watts per kilo, which is much, much higher than conventional lithium ternary batteries which have around 210 watts per kilo. For example, the Ionic 5, as far as we know, energy density of that battery is around about 200 watts per kilo. So we're looking at nearly double that number. What would that mean, right? Similar size battery to say, say a 70 kilowatt hour battery in something like the Tesla Model Y, you'd be looking at a range of around a thousand kilometers or maybe just under that, but pretty close. The crazy thing is, right, that battery is currently being produced now. That's what Goshan is saying. However, they reckon they have a version two of this battery that they're working on, which has energy density of 400 watts per kilo. That's just truly and utterly groundbreaking. To put that in context, current LFP batteries have an energy density of around 160 watts per kilo. So that's more than twice as much as that number. Now, for those of you who don't know, I reported on a very interesting fact. It looks as though Tesla signed a deal with Goshan High Tech back in December for 200 gigawatt hours of batteries from 2023 to 2028. That would mean Goshan High Tech would be supplying Tesla with 40 gigawatt hours of batteries per year, every year for five straight years from 2023 to 2028. However, what's even more interesting than this is that Goshan High Tech plan on actually building factories to supply Tesla with these batteries in the United States. However, these batteries won't actually be ternary batteries. They'll be Goshan High Tech's lithium ion phosphate batteries, which they say will have an energy density higher than current lithium ternary batteries on the market right now, which would be crazy. I mean, that is just, that is a game changer because if Tesla can, can put LFP battery cells in its cars, which are obviously much more cost competitive, much more reliable and last a lot longer, which have a higher energy density than its batteries from its competitors, which cost more. Well, yeah, how do you compete with that? That's crazy. So you might be wondering, Goshan High Tech, do they produce many batteries now? Well, Goshan added 30 gigawatt hours of battery capacity as two new sites came online within the last few weeks. Goshan's 
production capacity in China will reach 100 gigawatt hours per year by the end of this year. However, Goshan isn't stopping there. While right now all their battery factories are located in China, they plan on building battery factories in the United States. And they just announced yesterday that they are going to build a production base in Germany with an annual capacity of 18 gigawatt hours as well. I'm guessing probably to supply either Volkswagen or Tesla, one of those two. Now, Goshan expects to start renovating its plant in Göttingen, Germany, which it acquired from Bosch Group last year. And it hopes to have this factory capable of producing battery cells by the end of this year. The plant's renovation will be carried out in two stages, six gigawatt hour capacity by the end of this year. And it looks as though maybe by the middle of next year, 12 gigawatt hour capacity, and then 18 by the end of next year. Goshan says, that this plant will develop batteries that meet local European needs, produce bus batteries, car batteries, energy storage batteries, and mobile rechargeable batteries as well. And it will serve customers in the energy storage, commercial vehicle, and passenger car sectors. However, what was more interesting than anything in this press release was that Goshan said, it plans to increase its global production capacity to 300 gigawatt hours with 100 gigawatt hours in overseas markets before the end of 2025. So essentially, Goshan say, we're going to have 300 gigawatt hours of capacity by probably around about middle of 2025. 100 of that will be in overseas markets, the United States and Germany. Now, Goshan's actually planning on making Tesla Powerwalls as well. Not for Tesla, it's going to call them something else, but essentially it's going to provide a similar product to a Tesla Powerwall. Plus, they also have a product called Gen Done. It's Goshan's first high capacity portable energy storage product, Gen Doc 3000, and it converts solar and wind energy into electricity. Now, currently right now, Goshan is the world's eighth largest battery supplier with a global market share of 2.7%. But to give you some context of just how aggressive Goshan plans on being, last month, the month of May, Goshan only installed one gigawatt hours of battery. So let's say they were able to follow that up for the rest of the year. Maybe they hit 15, 15 for the year. They plan on having 300 in 2025. That's a huge difference. You might be thinking to yourself, well, how are they gonna do that? Well, interestingly, Goshan is actually right now being extremely aggressive with mining. They've acquired the rights to mines in China to mine lithium. The same thing in Argentina. They're building a facility in Argentina as well, which is capable of producing up to 60,000 tons of lithium carbonate per year. And they've signed joint ventures with multiple mining companies shore up massive supplies of the lithium that they need to develop this amount of batteries. So here is what Goshan High Tech are doing, aiming to supply Tesla with 40 gigawatt hours of batteries per year, aiming for 300 gigawatt hours of battery capacity per year by 2025, producing incredibly high energy density LFP batteries and next generation semi-solid state batteries with 360 watts per kilo at the cell level and version two, 400 watts per kilo. Plus, they've also released their latest generation lithium ternary batteries with 310 watts per kilo of energy density, all whilst shoring up enough lithium to build out these batteries and become one of the world's largest battery manufacturers. Now, it's important to remember who owns a quarter of this company. Volkswagen. They've been pretty aggressively buying into this company and it looks to me as though Volkswagen plans on potentially owning half of this company within the next few years. That's definitely worth considering when we assess Volkswagen and what their plans are over the next decade. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.